In 2007, all these were replaced with one portable object. But on paper, iPhone wasn't all that revolutionary. Without 3G, an app store, or expandable memory, some argued whether it should even be considered a smartphone. It also wasn't the first of its kind. BlackBerry Curve was cheaper and more capable. So why was iPhone so successful? Other smartphones like the BlackBerry were unintuitive. If you needed one for business, you'd learn how to use it. But the design wasn't compelling enough for the average user. The secret feature of the iPhone was called skeuomorphism. Apps looked and worked like their physical counterparts, so anyone could pick up an iPhone and feel at home. The news app looked like a newsstand, and Game Center looked as a casino would. No need to learn iPhone, iPhone learned you. Now that people have adapted to touchscreen mobile computers, user interfaces are moving on. Windows 8, iOS 7, and other platforms have switched to a flat design. But skeuomorphism wasn't a design fad, it's a tool which will be used again with unfamiliar technology. New products often try to be as forward-thinking and futuristic as possible, but this ignores an important lesson of the past. Design is a language. You may want to invent a more efficient language, but you can't expect people to learn it. The best design uses language people are familiar with, because it isn't flashy technology that changes the world, it's the accessible kind.